Hi, my name is Laura Aleman, and I play Paula in Freebie's Casa Grande. And you're watching Pop Culture with Pat. Welcome back to Pop Culture with Pat. So I am so excited to be joined by today's guest. Today I am talking to Laura Aliman, who plays Paula in the show Casa Grande, which is now streaming on Freevee. Thank you so much for coming on the show today, Laura. Thank you for having me. It's really a pleasure. Of course. So first off, I just want to say that so I, I recently I got a chance to to check out the whole show. I watched it. I think it was like two days. I binged all five episodes. And okay. man, I absolutely loved this series. And like personally, like myself, I haven't seen, I think, like a lot of Western based type of shows like previously up to this point in my life. But I just absolutely fell in love with with all the characters, the different families. You know, you have the politics and stuff like that. So I just wanted to say, you know, congratulations on the release of the series. Thank you. Thank you. I, I didn't know what to expect. And and I did the same thing. I binge watched every single episode when they sent the screeners. And it was it was way more than I could ever expect this. So thank you for watching and for supporting the series as well. Oh, yeah, of course. And so before we, you know, because we're going to talk about the show, but I wanted to, to kind of start things off just by asking you. So I mean, you've done acting, you've done singing, you've done a little bit of producing. You basically done like a little bit of everything almost up to this point. So can you just talk a little bit about your journey up to this point and then kind of what led to the decisions of kind of going into those different avenues of the entertainment business? For sure. Um, to start off, I've been doing performing arts my whole life. Uh, since I was a little girl, my mom invited me to participate in her theater shows, album recordings, commercial singing spots concert tours as a backup singer and many other things um this brought me to discover my passion for singing songwriting dancing acting and so i submerged fully into going to music school going to ballet going to popular dance classes uh submerging in a conservatory investing in in my art because it's the one thing that made me feel like I could understand who I was and my purpose on earth. Um, and so it just became my career, inevitably became my career. Um, super grateful to my mom that started off uh, introducing me to performing arts and got me into the place I am right now. Yeah. And it's always, it's always good to have, you know, someone, especially like your, you know, your parents that are so supportive of pursuing, you know, going into the arts like that. Is there, I mean, you've done so much already. Is there, any like what what is next for you is there any other avenues in the entertainment business that you would like to to step into maybe next yes i i've been producing for for years now i've always wanted to direct i feel like i have an urgency to tell stories to bring the stories to uh, to light that i feel are meaningful to me and are transformative to the audience um, and to be able to like produce projects and star in projects that align with my creative needs. I, I hope we get a chance to then to get to see you step into that role in the in the near future. That would definitely be, you know, very exciting. Do you have, I guess if you had like a chance to pick like, you know, the type of project, do you have like a, would you rather do like a specific genre or does it really matter as far as like what you'd want to do directing wise? I think that I've, I have a thirst for so many things. I, I've had ideas for a series, a dramedy series. I've had big dramatic projects in mind, a couple of films here and there that I've co-wrote with a, with a couple of colleagues. Um, I love sketch comedy and stand-up comedy. So I feel that there is so much still for me to discover and to try out that I'm not set on any genre specifically, just a necessity to create and tell stories in different ways to just explore myself creatively. Yeah. So you just want to kind of get in there and, and get going. So, yeah. you know, we were talking about you currently play Paula in the series Casa Grande, which is streaming on Freebie now. So you guys can can check out the whole series. What was it about Casa Grande and this role that made you feel you needed to be a part of this story and just this this role in the series overall? So many things. Um, but I think that additionally to representing just a 6.6% .6 of Latin roles in streaming services, 
per the latest UCLA Hollywood Diversity Report, having a female Latin Latinx director and a cast like this one I shared the series with is more than enough of a reason. I I mean, it's it's a privilege. But the main aspect that appealed to me was Paula itself. Uh, I feel I had so much in common with her. And although I can't say I relate to the challenges she had in regard to her legal status, I have lost friends in the in the process of migration and this has impacted my life deeply. So to be able to portray these challenges and shine a light on these injustices is quite a privilege. So it was a, it was a very important, you know, it's a very important series, but also something that you can connect with personally, it sounds like. Yes, it, it it's a... Uh... It's a necessity more than a creative need. So where where did you I mean, it sounds like where you said you had, you know, some friends that had this had happened. Um, where did you draw inspiration from when it came to helping bring Paula to life in the series? Oh, so many places. I am a huge fan of Dolores Huerta and her relentless pursuit for equality. So I drew a lot of uh, of her her passions from from Dolores. The women in my family as well, they are caring, loving caretakers who are also relentless in their pursuit of happiness and justice to everyone around them. Um, and also, there is a lot of myself in Paula. Um, I I was uh, in a relationship and dealt with domestic violence in the past. And being able to bring these experiences to many women, uh, to that many women that go through it um, in relation to domestic violence also was a great inspiration for me to develop Paula and be part of this project. So we get teased, and I thought it was interesting watching the series, we kind of get teased bits and pieces of Paula, you know, in the first couple episodes, you know, you get like hints of her character appearing in the show. Um, what kind of questions did you have for the creators of Casa Grande, just like going into this where we have, at least in this first season, we have a limited amount of time once we actually get to see the character for like a full episode in episode four? Well, they provided me with a lot of resources. And when you get the opportunity like this in the midst of a crossover to the U.S. market, you focus on character development and how to make an impact with your proposal, right? And I barely ask questions, if I'm honest, and instead focus on my perspective of who Paula was. Uh, I brought a fully developed character and Gabriela, the director, just fine-tuned it on set. Of course, we went through rehearsals and whatnot, but it 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 was pretty on point with what they wanted. And I think this had to do a lot with how well this project was written and how well Paula was written. So it made it easier for me to just fall into who I thought she was and honor that. Um, and when you get solutions on the page, you just have to trust your gut and honor your character. Yeah. And I mean, I, I got to say, like, shout out to the, the writing team for this series and, you know, all the characters just so fascinating. You know, you have kind of what's happening with the main family, but you have so much going on with all these different families that myself watching it, I was just really captivated. I wanted to learn more about, you know, each one of these characters, their backstories and, and creating like creating characters that you can latch out to or you want to learn more about is just so important because if you don't if you don't have interesting or captivating characters, I, I just feel like nothing else will really work, whether it's a series or if it's a movie having those characters that you can relate to or find something interesting is just, it's so important. So episode four, that is the, the, the Paula centric episode, which so I was so excited to, to finally get to, you know, spend a little bit more time with your character. Um, what is your, your mindset kind of going into this where that was like the main episode where we get to see most of her, you know, her screen time. What is your mindset just going in that, you know, you want to make sure that this character it leaves an impact when the audience after they're done watching this episode, because this is kind of the, the introduction to the character for everyone. Yes. Well, I can only be true to who Paula is. She is a kind, loving woman with a noble heart. She deeply cares for others. And I think that is a quality that a lot of people can identify with and also feel drawn to. 
We also feel drawn to people who make us feel seen. And she is that motherly energy we we all seek, right? And when we see good, kind of uh, kind-hearted people go through injustices, we inevitably want to do something to change their circumstances. And I think that itself created an impact in the audience and and engaged them with who Paula is and wanted to root for her 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 final outcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, and and yeah, what, I mean that's part of the thing that drew me to her. Just she had such a a kind heart, and, you know, just such a kind person, like overall. But when she she needed to get something done, you can see that she has that you know that fire like kind of like inside her as well. So I think that's what really drew me to the character. So I mean, great portrayal from you bringing that character from you know the script to the to the big screen for the show Thank so you. <laughs> you're you're very welcome talk to me about working with um with john piper ferguson because you know you share a majority of your scenes with him so what was it like working with him or just what was that collaboration like it was amazing it was great really um he's very easy to work with we both treated our character with utmost respect and honesty we did a lot of scene rehearsals and even listened to music for our scenes together, looking for for that feel between them without crossing any boundaries. It was a great experience to share screen with someone who is also so invested in the story uh, as oneself and and have that chemistry because there is so so much devotion to each other's character. Oh yeah, and the chemistry between you guys just on the screen, it was just like right away you could you could feel that. So so that I mean you guys just played off each other so well. I also wanted to just ask about and we talked a little bit about this, you know, before we jumped on here, just working at, on the set like in general, because I mean that area it, it looks like gorgeous, you know, it's like northern California, right? Yes, it is uh Petaluma, where Lucasfilm is uh originally from. It's beautiful. It has a bit of everything. It has countryside. It, it has wineries. It had uh, beaches and dunes and a uh, beautiful uh, historical town center. It was very picturesque and interesting to explore this part of California I've never seen before. Um, in the midst of the pandemic uh, was the highlight of, of this experience. I got to go and visit vineyards and and uh, meet amazing local people and and just submerge in the culture um and it was quite an amazing experience to have in the midst of the pandemic where we all, we're all locked up and in our houses without able to without being able to socialize yeah i mean that must have been so refreshing just to be able to to get out and, and do something like that during that time and i know we had spoke just about i was so excited when i was watching it and I was like, I am almost positive. I'm a big horror fan myself. So when I saw the the one house, I was like, I know that house is from Scream. So every time that we saw, I, you know, I told you I went, I looked it up afterwards and was trying to like match it up and then wanted to confirm with you. But so that's really cool that you guys, you know, got to film there. And I, as an actor, does it does it make it just so much like easier for you to get immersed in the world when you are working on like in an actual uh, area rather than maybe being like in a studio, be just, do you just get absorbed in the environment like a lot easier being on a set like that? Yes, definitely. It's, it's like, um, you know, when you have a plate of food in front of you and, and you necessarily won't, weren't hungry, but once you have a plate, you have to eat it because you, you see it there and you, you crave for it. Well, it's yep. the same when an actor has the opportunity to surround itself by the the beauty of the natural resources that are brought up on the screen for this particular series. It's just so much easier for you to just fall into everything that you've been working for up all uh, up onto this moment. So it, it it was quite an experience again feel very very honored to to have been able to go to go to Petaluma to share screen with so many amazing actors to be locked up with such an incredible cast and crew to feel um the freedom of being able to speak in my own native tongue with some of the other actors 
it felt like home. It felt like a paid vacation, if I'm honest. I felt like I was being treated and pampered, and this was just a gift from the gods. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I imagine it, it must have been really nice, and especially, you know, like we said during during those times, just to kind of to get to do that, where everyone was kind of, you know, was was locked up in their homes and not being able to to do much at that time. So that must have been just really nice and and freeing uh, for you guys, like as well. Yeah. I one of the other aspects that I love about this show is that I love it has so many strong female characters, not only on the screen, but behind the scenes as well. So what does it mean to you just to be a part of a project like this, you know, overall with those women? Everything. Um, as a Latina, I, I barely get opportunities to cast for roles that are Latin uh, as well. And to be able to share that experience with so many people, so many women, particularly that are also Latinas, um, felt like a full circle moment for me to to be there with Raquel and with Lauren and with all these incredibly powerful actresses was really a dream come true. I've been in L.A. for eight years, and this is the first big opportunity I've had to be part of a, a series like this one and also share screen and share a project with other Latina actresses. So it it was truly the highlight of my career, if I may say. That that's I mean that's that's so great to hear. And I mean again, you guys should be, you know, proud of the the product that you guys, you know, put together. You can tell a lot of hard work went into this series just like overall from from the writing, the directing, the actors. It's a great series. You guys really need to check this out. And before we kind of wrap everything up, Laura, I just wanted to ask you, is there anything else that you want to say, you know, just about working on the project overall? And, um, you know, where can uh, fans keep up with you as far as like future projects for yourself? For sure. I hope and, and cross fingers that production brings me on board for season two. And there's more much to Paula to be seen. Um, please do watch it and Amazon freebie. If you have Amazon prime, you can also watch it there, but if not, you can always watch it fully free of cost through Amazon freebie. You can find me on social media through Instagram on Laura Aleman official L A U R A A L E M A N official. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. There's a couple of projects coming up. So just keep an eye on my social media and you'll get You'll get firsthand. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you again so much, Laura. It was it was a great time, you know, just getting to to know you a little bit more about you know your career overall and working on this this great project. Like I said, really make sure to check this out, guys. It, it's one of my favorite series of the year so far that we've gotten. So make sure you check it out on Amazon Freebie. And you know, just thank you again, Laura, for for coming on. And um, you're welcome back anytime in the future. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. And, and again, more than happy to come back and have a chat with you. Thank you for making the space. Hi, my name is Laura Aleman and I play Paula in Freebies Casa Grande. And you're watching Pop Culture with Pat.